and welcome back to Adora Build. My name is Ruth and my little dog is called Pucky. And today we're going to be building up a fantastic friend set called the Heart Lake City Restaurant, which was released earlier this year. Now, when we open up this set, we do have four bags and we build up our first mini doll, which happens to be Emma. She also comes with a scooter helmet and we get Ethan in this set as well and of course he comes with a helmet too. We get two cats, we get Chico the grey cat and Pesto the little calico cat which is really gorgeous. So we do have quite a few figures in this set. Next we build up our little blue scooter which of course is why Emma and Ethan need their scooter helmet. And then we get to build up this fantastic looking green dumpster for the restaurant. It does have a number of stickers on it in order to create a little bit of street art and tagging, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. We also get some beautiful looking restaurant pieces in this. So not only the lavender plates and bowls and all of that sort of stuff, but as you saw there, we also get a round printed tile with a bowl of spaghetti on it as well. So you can see here in the video now, we're just building up all the different foundations for the actual restaurant. So lots of different colored plates and also lots of different plates of various sizes that actually make up the footprint for this build. On to bag number two, and we do actually get our chef who is called Lily. And then we get to build up this fantastic little side build, which is sort of like a salad bar where we get a few like little cups of fruit salad, some dressing, a bowl full of leafy greens. There's also a little bit of olive oil and balsamic vinegar there as well to use as other sort of dressing. And of course, because it is supposed to be like an Italian restaurant, we get a beautiful loaf of crusty bread as well. So that's a fantastic little side build. And then we continue to build up the restaurant with a whole heap of bricks. A lot of these beautiful nougat bricks are also masonry bricks as well. So that just creates that additional detail for this particular set. So let me know what your thoughts are of this set in the comments down below. I was chatting to Apple Bricks a few weeks ago and we were sort of having a little bit of a joke because this set looks so much like the Olive Garden restaurants that are based in the United States. In Australia, we don't actually have that franchise, but I have seen that particular restaurant featured in a couple of movies and also on some various YouTube clips as well. So I do think that this build is quite sort of fun for that reason as well. I also particularly like the pieces that we have used in order to create this beautiful sort of arched railing, which looks quite solid. So it sort of looks like it may be masonry as well. I think that that's a really great feature. Plus we've got a fantastic looking pizza oven as well, right in the center of this restaurant. Of course, make sure that you do give this build a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you do like checking out my speed builds, particularly of the Friends and the Disney Princess sets. Moving back to the build, it's also really cool to see that we do get the doorway on this fantastic 45 degree angle as well. I think that that just helps to create a little bit more dynamic interest to the architecture of this build. We are now constructing the balcony area. So it does look very similar to the downstairs with of course the tan flooring and that beautiful bright light yellow wall color and the same white railing. On screen at the moment, I am building up the little tree that is placed into the corner of this build. Now we're putting together some of the chairs and the tables and of course a couple of plates of spaghetti and some lasagna down there as well. And we move on to bag number four, which is the lucky last bag for this set. And you can see that the colors actually change quite considerably in this particular bag as well. So we start to create these gorgeous little sloped terracotta tile looking roofs. 
And it is really lovely to see that Lego has used those one by one half round brick pieces in order to create the look of those tiles. And I think that in this set, what they have also done really successfully is to actually use color to create texture. So not only including the red tiles in that half circle piece, but also orange, magenta and dark red. And I think that that's one of the things that Lego actually does do really well in the Friends sets is using color to create the fantastic texture that we can get in different builds. Now we move on to the 3D sign, which is a little bunch of purple grapes. And then we get to add some grape vines to the very top of the balcony area. We finally get to add in the sign that is placed on top of this particular restaurant. So there we have this fantastic build for the Heart Lake City Restaurant or the Olive Garden, depending on what you want to call it. Now, unfortunately, I don't really like this plant piece that Lego created as part of this build. So what I'm going to do in this part of the video is see if I can come up with some other part, sort of foliage or plants to be able to place across here. So let's get started, see what I can create. Okay, so after a few different attempts of sort of different styles using different parts, I think I have come up with something that I actually quite like. So let me show you this in a little bit more detail. I'm going to be using these little frondy parts. So I'm just going to pop those in here. And what I will be doing is placing them in between the studs rather than on top of. So the next one goes in and then in order to create a little bit more variation, the one in the middle is just going to be placed onto one of the flower pieces before being inserted in between the studs like so. And then in order to create a little bit more lushness and greenness, we're just going to double stack those. And I'll also just play around a little bit so that the leaves aren't directly on top of each other so that again it looks just a little bit more sort of natural and organic. There's dog fur on those leaves. Right, and then the other thing that I thought would be quite good would be to change out these pink flowers and actually make them orange in order to have consistent foliage across the build so that then all the flowers that are on these large leaf pieces are all orange. So whether or not that's here at the front or on the little balcony areas, it's all sort of the same. And then in order to tie in to the color palette, because we do have the orange in with the roof, I thought that then it would be really pretty to create some more sort of purple pink flowers to go on top of here. And yes, we are definitely reusing those pink pieces that we've just taken off from the corner as well. So of course we do have only two of those in this set. So I'll just have a quick look in my parts collection and hopefully I do have an extra one, which I do, which is lucky. So there we go. I think that they look really pretty, almost sort of like a little bit of a lavender shrub, something like that, I don't know. But to me, that looks so much nicer than what was there previously. So now that we have updated some of the plants to this build, let's take a closer look at those mini dolls as well as the set itself. This is a lovely, lovely build and I had so much fun creating it, especially with the rooftop. As always, I do really appreciate you guys supporting my channel and it's been amazing getting to know so many of you. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again in my next video. So until then, make sure that you take care of yourselves and bye-bye.